Hi everyone, today we're going to do a update of one of our most popular videos, how to send your own pictures to LessonPix and use them in our materials. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at where you'll find your personal photos in LessonPix. Click the Your LessonPix tab at the top right. This is also the first place you'll go when you log in. You'll see I'm logged into a demo account with the username of TestMail. You'll see your own username here instead. Scrolling down, you'll see Your Photos and Custom Symbols. Click Manage My Symbols. Here you'll see four ways to create custom symbols. Manually uploading a picture, submitting a photo by email, customizing our symbol, and adding text symbols. We're going to focus on the first two options. Both allow you to add your own photos. The first section is what you might expect. You can upload your own photo. We'll choose a picture of a toy teapot and set the title to teapot. Hitting upload photo, you'll find the teapot picture at the bottom of the screen. Notice the yellow mine sticker on the upper left. That won't print on your materials, but it is important. It means that photos you upload are not visible by other LessonPix users. They're private to your account, but will show up in searches including SoundFinder and minimal pair searches, but only for you, not anyone else. Let's look at the second way to add photos, submitting them by email. This is a very powerful feature and I think you'll find it's a lot more useful than the manual method. Notice the email address on the right, testmail.1234 at lessonpix.com. Your screen will look a little bit different. It will have your username, followed by a four-digit number, and then at lessonpix.com. This is your email upload address, and you can send any photos there just like you'd send them to a friend or family member. Let's say you have a new environment for your student, and you want to make a social story, visual schedule, or any other material. You can take pictures with your smartphone and just email them into your account. Let's see what that looks like. Here I'm using my iPhone to take pictures around our therapy center. You can use any phone that will send a picture. This is a picture of the sensory room. Notice that I made the picture square. That works best since our materials expect square symbols. If you don't make your picture square, it'll still work, but they'll have some white space around them. Let's take some more pictures of the therapy center. Here's a table area, a whiteboard, the reading center, and a piano. In the gym, we snap photos of the swing, the ball bin, a ball, and a bouncing toy. Now let's add these to our LessonPix account. All I need to do is email the photos from my phone. First, let's send in a single picture, the one of the sensory room. We select the picture, click the share icon, and choose by email. Then we enter the email upload address for our account, testmail.1234 at lessonpix.com. Your address will be a little different. We put the title we want in our subject line, in this case, sensory room. When you hit send, the phone may ask you for a size. Medium is usually the best choice, good enough quality for printing, and not so big the mail server rejects it. Let's see what happened in our LessonPix account. Click on the Your LessonPix tab to make sure the browser is up to date. Here you see the new sensory room picture under Your Photos and Custom Symbols, right next to the teapot. Clicking Manage My Symbols will show that the title, Sensory Room, came in just fine in the subject line. This picture can now be used just like any other lesson pick symbol. Let's drag it to the tray. You can also send in more than one photo at a time. Let's send in all the remaining Therapy Center pictures. Here in the phone, we select them all and click the Share button. We choose Mail and then enter the same email upload address. Notice the iPhone has remembered it and we don't have to type the whole thing every time. We'll put Therapy Center in the subject line and LessonPix will use that for all of their titles. Once we hit Send and choose Medium Size, we're all done. On the LessonPix page, let's hit Refresh to make sure it loads the new symbols. Here you see all the new Therapy Center pictures. Let's change their titles. Now we'll drag them all to the tray and make some basic picture cards.
That's it. You've now added custom photos to lesson picks. There are just a couple more things to point out before we go. First, if you make a material with your private photos in it, you can't share it publicly in the Sharing Center. This is both a privacy and a copyright protection issue. Second, you can change the numbers in your upload address. This may be handy if you want parents to email in pictures of home environments temporarily. Or it may be needed if you start getting spammy emails with pictures. Another quick tip, if your pictures come in sideways, you can now rotate them in the custom symbol screen. Click on the photo and then recolor and customize. Rotate the picture as needed and click Save Custom Symbol. You'll find both the original and the rotated view in your custom symbols list. You can remove the original if you'd like. Finally, if you're not seeing pictures you upload, check your email. We send both success and rejection notices. If you're not getting them, let us know by clicking the Help button at the top right, and we'll get right back to you. I hope you found this helpful, and as always, good luck and have fun.